Hey guys, Edge here, and today I'm gonna be unboxing the Ender 3 Pro 3D printer. I just ordered this and it finally came, and I am very, very excited. Um, I couldn't contain my excitement when it finally came, but we're gonna go ahead and get into it, uh, cause we still have, I think I'm gonna do the whole build process, maybe over time lapse or something like that, but without further ado, let's get the old famous Edge knife right there. Gotta love it. Anyways, so I cut from the top real quick. I've always wanted a 3D printer, and it's it's like my dreams are coming true right now. So I'm very very excited. Never cut towards yourself, but I'm just cool like that. So. There we go. I hope everything is in frame. Oof. She's a beauty. She is a beauty. I picked this up for $230 on Amazon. So I think that's a pretty good price. And as always, before you're buying something this expensive, you know, you should probably do your research and from what I found, this was one of the best 3D printers for the price. And uh, I guess I'll just get this out. I wanna be very careful because, yeah. <laughs> um, that's a thick piece of cardboard right there. How do we, where do we even start? All right, so that's the digital part of it. Brackets or whatever. Um, I think this is the power supply right here. I'm trying to be careful, but yeah. Oh, um, this a separate piece. So yeah, as you can see, it doesn't come pre-built. You are gonna have to build it. Um, and I'm fine with that because I like building stuff, so. I am A-okay with that. Oh, it looks like that thing slides up and down. And then this is one solid piece all together. head or whatever. Is there anything under that? Yes, there is. I'm gonna set this aside on the side phone. Right over there. Then we have, wow, that's a lot of pieces. Then we got the filament that comes with it. Sadly, you don't get a full spool of it, but it is what it is. Got a scraper. Or, uh, just in case the, the prints are stuck to the, the little plate. Some more brackets. A greased uh, little bar right there. Would have been nice to know that before touching it. Cable. And then whatever this is. Hopefully, I am capable of building this. I'm not gonna be watching a YouTube video because I'm recording with my phone. I can always get my iPad though. You know what, I might just do that. I'll be right back.
All right, guys, after that clip, I went ahead and moved my 3D printer into my room. So um, we did print some stuff already. I made this little uh, filament guide, which helps it go into there faster and more efficiently. Um, I also made a Batman Arkham Asylum bust. Here it is. It's actually very, very detailed. I'm very happy with the way it came out. And it's, it's, it's beautiful. That's all I can say, it's, it's really beautiful. Batman, blockchain. Anyways, that's gonna be the whole video. Um, sorry if it wasn't the most uh, put together. Um, I was just kind of mostly focusing on the 3D printer because I wanted it to be perfect. All right guys, it's been two weeks since I got my 3D printer and I'm gonna be going over all the upgrades that I've made in that time. So let's go ahead and uh, get into it. So I found this little front cover piece. Uh, this is basically just to make it look more nice, but I did a remix, which is basically when you put your own style or design on it. Um, and we added this, this piece right here. And this is basically just to hold my webcam so we can do some time lapses and all that. Um, the screw also holding this thing on is also 3D printed, so that's pretty cool. Um, we also have these V-slot covers. These are basically before it looked like this and like stuff can just get all in the, up in there. Um, but these things just slide on in and, you know, keep that debris and other stuff out. And it also looks a lot nicer. So, next up we have the LCD screen. Um, usually you can see all the circuits and the motherboard sticking out right there, but this is basically like a little, little case around it. So it just makes everything look more clean and all that. So, we have that. We also have these cable chains. Um, this just makes everything look real nice. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. That was probably the longest print. Um, but yeah, looks pretty good. Um, next we have these little, uh, these are basically what levels your bed. And uh, we got some nice aluminum red things as well as those new, more, uh, more like tension springs right there. Um, those basically just make everything real tight and snug. So we have that, um, what else? We have this SD card reader. Usually it's a micro SD that you just pop on into there and like none of this is usually here, but we just made like a little converter in here that uh, lets it take SD cards now. So you don't want that to get worn out over time, the thing that's usually here. So that's why we have that now. And then probably the coolest thing I just added today is the LED bar. Look at that. So now this lets all the time lapses look even better. Um, basically it was just this piece that was printed. Um, I found that one. And then I did a remix on this side, which is basically a filament guide that's attached to this part. And this basically just lets the filament funnel down into there a lot easier. So nothing gets stuck or any of that. But yeah guys, that's, that's all the upgrades I've made just in these two weeks. I mean, I also have this cover. I completely forgot about it. It just, at night, if you don't want to see everything, it's still going to be pretty loud, but that's what you do if you just don't want all that light blinding you. Yeah, that's, that's going to be all the upgrades. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it so far, so I recommend y'all go. I'm not saying you just go out and buy one, but uh, definitely look into it before you buy a 3D printer because it's, it's definitely pretty cool for uh, what it can do. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, it's been Edge. Peace out.